and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Ormark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today we're going to look at Tea Together, which is a lovely stamp set with um, a teapot or coffee pot, um, a cup and saucer, some lovely little floral images and some sentiments which are um, for Mother's Day, Happy Mother's Day, um, our love is one that covers years through life's joys and sometimes tears, a bond that stands the test of time, mother and daughter hearts entwined, and then there's a love is a warm cup of tea. Um, and these will make some beautiful, um, as I say, Mother's Days or very sort of florally type cards. Um, at the moment, during celebration, you can actually get the coordinating tea time framelits absolutely free with an order of £90. So if you want to get uh, um, a free coordinating die which has the teapot and the cup and saucer, the floral ones, two for the little buds and three for the leaves, um, it's worth actually looking at that and uh, putting an order through, getting this one and getting this one free which is exactly what I did. So um, I thought that we would have a look at some of the things that we can do with this. Now, um, I have seen quite a lot of um, samples of cards with lovely little floral things on inside. And in fact, I shall show you one uh, as an example of what you can do with it, uh, which is, let me just get this one out here, which I did earlier on. So we have um, a card like this. So you can see the, um, the teapot um, was stamped with this um, pretty flower here. Um, and then I coloured it in with our blends in the Highland Heather Light and Dark. And then I just did a little sort of wavy line through with a for you at the bottom and a few flowers on. So very sort of uh, sweet for a... Um, um, a, a feminine sort of card and, and something to give to somebody but I thought we would do something different so um, let me put this one out of the way um, one of the nice things about this size of image is that you can exactly the same as with the jar of love you can put all sorts of things inside so let's get the um, let's get the stamp set or the stamp out and we're going to position it on our block and then I've just got a strip of heavy whisper white because I'm going to die cut it out and the heavy whisper white just gives a slightly sturdier image if you are um, because it's a large image if you want to put it down with dimensionals you can use our standard whisper white it's just a preference for me so we are going to I've got some scratch paper underneath because uh, um, I find it's easier with my lights and we are going to stamp the image here and I'm going to do I think three we're not going to use all of them but just to show you some ideas of what you can do with them so that's one let's put another one in the middle we'll have a little bit of space here so we'll have another one here and then let's see if I can get a third one down the end I've left a bit of space purely because of the uh, um, a couple of the techniques I want to show you so let's move this one down on here and we'll put this down here like that Okay, so um, you can see very easy to stamp um, and then I'm just going to give this a clean off so that it doesn't leave it too grubby. Um, I'm using my Simply Chamois which I use for a lot of things. I use our stamping scrub as well but just for getting it off first of all um, I do that. Okay, so I'm going to put it away in the case because uh, get into the habit of putting things away. I'm just going to put it on there for now. Okay, so um, you can see that the image down here is quite big. So we are going to put some sentiments in the centre so that it can sort of stand alone as it is. Um, now, I've got the floral frames and um, sending love, hello, or wishing you the best will all fit in. I think I'm going to do wishing you the best on this one. So let's take that one out. And we'll put this on, will it fit on the little block? Yes, I think I can just sort of 
put it on this one so I can line it up nicely. So wishing you the best. We'll just um, ink that up. I'm doing it all in black at the moment purely because then when I'm looking to do different things with it I've got a very neutral back and also it stands out quite well. So this is quite a reasonable sized image and you can just put that straight in the centre and you've got wishing you the best. Um, so that works really well. <clears throat> Give that a quick clean off. And so, okay, so that's the floral frames. All of those will fit inside. So wishing you the best, sending love and hello. Um, let's have a look at um, another sort of size of sentiment. Um, so let's see what I've got down on here. Um, okay, let it ride. I've got for you. So let's have a look at that one. So for you, again, um, this is a little bit smaller, um, but again, it's quite a good font. So exactly the same as I say as, as um, the Jar of Love. You can put some nice sentiments in the centre. So let's put for you in the centre of this one. Like that. Okay, slightly off skew, but uh, you'll have to excuse that. The lights of the camera make it quite difficult for lining it up sometimes. But as I say, it, it um, you can spend a bit more time lining it up because you can get your head right over the top. But it's more to show you the ideas. So um, you can see you can choose a variety of different um, sentiments to go on the inside of the teapot. Um, OK, so let's do a little bit of decorating of the teapot. Obviously, you can colour them in however you want. However, if you want a quick and simple background, let's have a look at um, timeless textures. I come back to timeless textures again and again because, as I say, you've got these lovely texturised backgrounds which work perfectly. So I think we're going to do some... Um, we're going to do some dots to start off with. So let's have a bit of a, um, a dotty teapot. So let me just put this on here. On this one. Let that one down. And um, we're going to do it in, let's do it in some blue. So I've got a coastal cabana. And um, what shall I have with the blue? Shall we have a, let's have blue and purple, which might just go quite nicely together. So I've got the Highland Heather. Um, you can choose whatever you want. I'm just doing it uh, um, as a quick example. So I'm going to take the one that we haven't got a sentiment on. And we're just going to ink this up. And I'm just going to take it from the bottom. Doesn't matter that it's going off. And lining it up as best I can over there. But because it sort of splotches, it's not vital that it's exactly right. So let's have another one just at the top. And there where we've got a little bit of a space, you can turn it this way round. Put that one on there. And just on the little top of the teapot bit here. Okay, so that's got sort of like a, a, a blue patterning on it. So let's do it in two tones, shall we? Um, I think the Highland Heather will work quite well with Coastal Cabana. Um, as I say, you can do it in one colour, you can do it in several colours. I just wanted to uh, have a go. The tip again for opening these, press at the top. Here the click, clicks open and you can open it. Um, great tip from Connie Stewart in America which I am using all the time I think it's a brilliant tip okay now we have did it this way so I'm going to turn it so that we don't have the the spots going in exactly the same direction so let me just get my I have to move that out of the way so that it's not into my camera and we are going to take it this way so let's just go across with some purple oh yes that's quite a nice color combination and again, line it up. It doesn't have to be exact. Um, we might have to have an extra bit up on the top of the teapot. So just bringing it across on the side like that. 
and then I'm just going to turn it round that way and just have a little bit at the top here hence my scrap paper so it doesn't come off completely um, just want to get that in there a bit there we go okay so we now have a pattern for our teapot on this one and we are going to then choose a sentiment to go on this one so um what am i going to choose for this one let me have a look and see um to choose something that i haven't chosen before so let's put this back in timeless textures um now i have got the um I've got the jar of love out. So we've got thanks, we've got friend, we've got hello. Thanks might be quite nice, mightn't it? Um, and I think these are probably a little bit smaller, but uh, let's have a look and see. Oh, yeah, no, they'll be all right. So let's take the thanks out of this one. Um, I just wanted to show that you can use a lot of different sentiments. Let me make sure I can see this upside down. As you know, I struggle reading things. That's thanks. Okay, so let's get this one out. So this has been a stamp set which has been around a while. So just sort of hunt through your um, different sentiments and uh, and just try some of that out because you'd be surprised at how many will actually fit in the space here. So um, this is probably should get a little bit bigger block, but I can't, I'm not going to get them out now. So I'm just doing this one so it hangs out a little bit. Um... And I might do this instead of doing it, will I do it in the black? Yes, I'm going to do it in the black. Um, you could coordinate it by putting it in the, um, oh, what's it called? The gorgeous grape um, and have it in a, in a dark sort of purple colour. But because the, um, the actual frame of the teapot is in the black, I thought I would do the sentiment as well. So let's see if I can line this up a little better. I'm going to bring it down to the bottom so excuse if it's not actually on the camera and then just put this one down press it down a bit because it's more solid and we've got a nice thanks in the center there so three different sentiments from three different sets showing that they fit all inside the teapot which uh, as i say i think works really well so um i'm going to let's just take the framelits out for this one have I hid them down the bottom here? Yep. So tea time framelits and we are going to just cut out with the teapot. Lovely, great, big um, framelit, which is easy to line up. Um, if you don't have it, you can fussy cut it um, and then just use a little craft knife to get into these bits. But um, it's so easy to do it this way. So I am just going to line this up here before I go across to my big shot then it doesn't take that much time and if you bear with me two seconds I'm just going to run through the big shot so you can actually see just get that lined up as I want it and run it through So it runs through really easily so um right just sitting down again so let's just take that out of there and there you have your rather nice little teapot um or coffee pot because as i say the shape of it could be either for tea or for coffee so uh, don't think it's just tea um being british and knowing about teapots um, teapots normally tend to be sort of a little bit squatter and rounder um, and uh, coffee pots tend to be more sort of this size so you can use it for all of your things with coffee um, but as you can see you now have a really rather nice um, let's just move that on there uh, with a thanks in so as I say it can go for actually anything you want and again these ones you can decorate in whatever manner you want so I'm just going to move those out of the way for the second so um, I thought I would show you one that I did earlier on which I made um, into a little bit of a masculine card so on this one I put wishing you the best um, I put it on some um, dark um, DSP, actually some old DSP that had um, retired 
and this one I did in Calypso Coral and the um, Coastal Cabana. Um, and again, what I did with that one was just sponge around the sides of it. But again, if I put this one over the top, you can see the colours work really well. Um, and then I just put a little squiggly line with our stamping right black marker and the for you at the bottom. So for you, wishing you the best. And I thought that that was quite simple and work for, would work for a masculine card. Um, I've done another one here. Let me just get this one out of the way so I can show you this one. Um, and this one was done um, using some of our DSP. So this is literally just very, this is a very quick way of doing it. Um, I took the size of the DSP and cut the shape out after I'd stamped it so you don't waste anything. And then put this one down on here. And then you've got your teapot on there with sending love. Now, what I would probably do is to take the um the new dog label punch um happy tails because it's got a little heart on it and just cut a few of the little hearts out and then you can have those hearts coming out spilling from the teapot down and you could put another little sentiment at the bottom on there so um so yes yeah, so those are three sort of ideas let me get the first one out of here um to just show you what you can do with this lovely stamp set. And as you can see, all of the teapots have a very different feel to them. Um, but you don't need DSP, but you can use it. Um, you don't need to be uh, want it too florally, but you can. And you can use any of our background stamps to actually decorate the teapot rather than colouring it if you want as well. So thank you so much for watching me and do look forward to seeing you again. Bye bye.